Hey guys, we are back. Welcome to the MMB channel. We're out here in this beautiful day in the great state of Texas. It's February, it's nearly 80 degrees. I can't complain. I love it. Can't complain. So we thought we'd do a video outside. I'm burning hot. The sun's burning my forehead. Yes. But uh, you look, I'm not complaining. I love it. Anyway, explain Bianca so what we're doing today. Today's video is going to be the husband tag. So I'm going to ask Michael probably like around seven questions to see if he really knows me. You ready? I'm not, but let's do this. <laughs> yeah, so I'm only gonna be asking the questions this time. Next video, Michael will be asking me questions. Hopefully I know them. <laughs> mate, my forehead is so shiny. It's like the second yeah, sun, so mate. It's like Icarus out of die another day. Don't know time to face gravity. What is that? The movie, gone. <laughs> so proper bald, mate, look. I'm bald, I'm proper bald, gone. <laughs> I know for a fact that Andy will be watching this video and it's gonna be like, yeah, time to face gravity. Go on. Anyway. Steve Hilton, mate. Go. So, with our first question, where was our first date? Our first date? Yes. Panicking already, I don't know that question. You better know. I'm joking, where? I do. Our first date is, hang on, is this when we met or online? Well, we met. We can do a date virtually. Oh, people can do online dates. Well, no. It's online dating, right? Okay, no. Uh, a legit in-person date. Yeah, there we are. It's better. Um, come to the camera. You're over here. Oh, I like this spot. Okay. Is, it, is that your angle, is it? <laughs> it's my angle. Sorry, let's get back to the questions. When was the first time we met for on... <coughs> I've got a cough, I'm sorry. Um, November the 5th. When you came over to London, England, I took you and your mum out to a Turkish restaurant and then I took you over to firework night that night. So the 5th of November, guys, for the Americans or anyone else around the world that's watching our video, uh, firework night is the night of Guy Fawkes that tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament and us British like to celebrate that by fireworks because he didn't blow it up, which is good news, but I took you there. So I remember, and she loved the food, it was authentic Turkish. Um, chicken, uh, lamb, eating, rice. Chicken and everything. It was amazing. The best food ever. Bomb.com. Yes, it was so good. See, I'm on fire, mate. First question done. Alright, don't get cocky. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to mess him up now. What was your first impression of me? Online or when we met face to face? Person. Face to face. When know. you saw me walk through them doors, it was like going through your mind. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to be honest here. I'm just kidding. When you walked through the door, I was so nervous because, you know, I've been speaking to Bianca online for, for a couple months. And as you know, guys, online, it's totally different to face to face. So I wasn't too sure how it was going to go down, or what was going to happen. But I was super nervous. And it was probably a big risk for the both of us, right? Because, yeah. you know, you might have come over and not liked me. Right. I might not have liked you. Or one person might have liked someone, or the other person didn't. It would have been super awkward, right? Very. But, praise God, when I saw you, it was love at first sight. Your head's getting bigger right now, if you see. Like, exactly. <laughs> but no, honestly, it was love at first sight. I was just overly amazed at how beautiful you looked, and how incredible you looked. And uh, you're going to be making me lunch today. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I want fish and chips. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, I was just overly overwhelmed by how spectacular and quintessential you looked. Besides your, besides your mum being there as well, making it all awkward. But no, I'm glad that she was here. Okay, we love you, mum. I hope you're watching this video. <laughs> She's where you're, like, ooh, look at him. I don't, cute. Uh, we're your biggest fan, by the way. Yeah. But yeah, it was, it, was a good, it was a good day. Just super nervous, though. I remember you guys were taking loads of pictures of the taxis. Do you remember? Yeah. So For me, it was really strange me. because I was like, okay, uh, it's a taxi, but I suppose it's different for, for, for Americans. Next but yeah, question. Next question. That was a long answer. Next Sorry, question. I like to talk too much. Next question. Do I have any weird obsessions? Do you have any weird obsessions? <laughs> That's a good question. I had something in my mind earlier that I was going to say, but I've actually changed it now. Actually changed it because I thought about this the other day. By the way, these, these are questions that have not been. I don't know these questions yet, so it's why I put them in the spot. I was thinking about this the other day. I think the weirdest obsession you actually do have is when you pull funny faces behind my back. 
You wait to that thing with your mouth. Show them how you do it. No. Go on, show them. No, that's the secret. <laughs> like I'll be, I'll be watching TV and a movie. I won't be looking at her, but I know she's staring. You know when someone stares at you, you can feel that energy, and she'll just be pulling this weird face at me with your teeth. You know I'm talking about. That's why you've got all quiet. I don't know what you're talking about. That's her weirdest obsession. Obsession. <laughs> <laughs> this heat is killing me. Obsession. Time to All face right. gravity, mate. Go on. Next question. Do we have a tradition together? If so, what is it? Tradition, tradition, tradition. Road trips. We love road trips. Would you agree with that? I would agree, yes. You know what? Me and Bianca can go in the same car together, hang out for nine hours straight, on the 20, all the way to New Mexico, and not have one argument. And just love, actually no, we, we probably do argue, but I'm joking. But yeah, we just love road trips. We, you know, we went to New Mexico a couple months ago, took us, you know, what, nine to, nine to ten hours to get there. Just love it. We just love exploring life, the world, America, so I'd say that's our tradition. What's our tradition in a winter, when it's cold? We don't do road trips really. No, we don't. Well, this is winter now, but this is just a rare occasion. Um. Movie night. Yeah. We love doing movie night. We just love. <laughs> so I just had a... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's so random. I had a flashback because when we have movie night, although it's great, like we're, we're at two different temperatures here. I'm always hot and she's always cold. <laughs> and there'll be movie night. She'll be all wrapped up. Although I'm not freezing her to death, we'll have well we'll have the heating on. Only after eight o'clock, it's cheaper. Um, yes, he freezes me. I don't water. freeze you. It's like 70 degrees in our apartment. And she'd be like... Frozen. She'd be like, I can't say! Uh, but yeah, but no movie night. Uh, that's, that's, that's the answer to the question. What can I spend hours doing? Your hair. Her hair. Mate, I have never known someone to play around their hair. Not for hours. Not for days. Months. What? How long? Tell the YouTube fans how long it take you to do that hair. I take my time. Take that's takes her. To, that's an understatement. How long? Maybe like a day or two. A, mate, more like a year. Like I you praise God I that I. I stop, do what I want. You know. Look, I've got no problem. She can do what she wants. That's what keeps her happy. Keeps her quiet. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> she can do it, but I just don't have the patience. Do that. I don't even have the patience to get up. That's why I just shave all my hair off. Getting up in the morning and doing all that, that's not for me. But, yeah, that, I would say your hair is your obsession. It's not my obsession. I don't even like doing my she hair. Loves, you love it. <laughs> I only like doing like protective styles every now and then when I just get tired of combing my hair. So, it's what it is. Well, if, if that's what keeps you happy, then yeah. All right, next question. What's my favorite music? Gospel. Yeah. Absolutely. Gospel not done with you. Actually, that's not gospel, is it? It's more like Christian yeah, Christian. Uh, we'll that. But I love that song too. Yeah, she loves gospel music. So yeah. Alright, uh, what would I eat every day if I could? Pizza. Ew, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? I well, because you like, you're already into health stuff, I would say a pear. Hair. Apple, oranges, fruit. There we go. All right, fruit, yeah. That was right, yeah. Good job. This 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 woman here loves fruit. If she could, she'd she'd bath in it. I love smoothies. She loves smoothies. But then again, I like smoothies. Yeah, big shout out to Smoothie King. All right, uh, next question. Go well, did it? That was weird. <laughs> I love Smoothie King. The Daily Warrior is the best one. If you if you guys go Smoothie King, Daily Warrior. Good. Smoothie King better be paying me now for advertising. Go on. How did you know I was the one? How did I know that you were the one? Well, when I met you face to face? Yes, absolutely. What oh. made you say, that's the girl I want to marry? Can we pause this for a second? I need to think. I'm just kidding. No. Um, not to sound cheesy, but to be honest, I would say... <coughs> Sorry guys, I've got a cold. Um, 
I knew you were the one when you walked through those doors and I had this feeling like to say, wow. Because guys, you know, when we were talking and doing this online dating, you know, you're always gonna have doubts. You're always gonna have risks. You're never, you're never not too sure whether that person's gonna be the one. But there was just something about Bianca that I loved. She was humble, sweet, always willing to compromise, and she was just so supportive. And when I saw her, I just knew straight away that you were the one. It's those eyes. I can't explain it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't explain it. Like, I don't want to come across like cheesy or anything, but I just knew there's this energy in me, this feeling that, you know, that she was the one. And God was telling me that she was the one. And, uh,. Yeah, your head's your head's just got two times bigger. You you're, you're definitely making me fish and chips now. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's how I knew. You know, um, just that energy, that feeling. Okay. Am I just went all quiet now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Am I goofy or more on the chill side? Definitely two ways to approach this. When she's with me, one to one, definitely goofy. 100%. If you ever saw this girl, Goofy, you'd be you'd be shocked because she's just different when she's around me. But when she's out in public, totally different. Quiet, shy. But no, things have changed though. I think since you've been with me, you've been a lot more louder. I'm trying. More talk. And you're doing great. It gives me so much anxiety to talk to people in public. But she's doing great. But I would say you're a lot louder around me when we're in the apartment. Goofy. But in public, not as much. But I have definitely seen... a big difference these past couple of years. Okay. So yeah. And last question. <coughs> I might be doing by the way, am I am I am I doing great? Good. See? Yeah, you're not sweating here, making sure I don't want to cause any arguments later in the doghouse. <laughs> Come. Last question. If I was given a million dollars, what would I do with it? Travel. Yeah. Travel. I know straight away. With me though, right? With you and family. Family, I travel. I would love to have my family see the world with me. That would be a beautiful, beautiful. Mate, experience. there'd be no more YouTube videos. They'd be gone. Not, no, not like we we're, would definitely YouTube it. Not like we're making any anyway, but. Yeah. I know. <laughs> but no, we're just like travel. But this is how I would do it. I'd put half in the bank or half in a in, in housing and property. You know, get those houses rented, and then you know just travel for the rest of our lives and spend some money on our business. Big shout out to our business and a big shout out to the people that have been supporting us yes, on our last YouTube video. You. We were so shocked to so praise God on that. We thank had you a so much. Followers who had, um, bought a couple things, so we, we did. Really appreciate you Hopefully that you like them. You know, anyone out there, flawlesssoaps.com. She does turmeric soap, lavender soap, uh, sugar scrub, uh, rose, rosemary. Rosemary. I'd say we were just different accents, but yeah. <laughs> Get yourself soap out there. Special offer right now for turmeric. Go for five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. Bargain. He's like a natural salesman, okay? Well, I've just got I've, I've got passion for it, and I, and I love them. You know, if I believe in a product, I will I will talk about it, rave about it all day long. But you've got to give it give it a go. I'll put it in the link in the in the bottom of the description. Just love it. But anyway, any more questions? That is so all for today. There. So next video, it will be his turn to ask me questions. No pressure. And hopefully I know them and can answer them properly. Um, but also, you guys, please continue to leave like video suggestions in the comment <laughs> section. That way we can kind of know what we should yes. you know, video or post about. I don't know. Talk be about. nice. No nasty um, comments. Be nice. We did see someone make a comment saying maybe we should do a 25 kiss video. Oh, and I don't feel comfortable kiss. kissing in front of people, especially on YouTube. So we probably won't do that one. But yes, please continue to leave like suggestions in the comment ba box. Take your time. <laughs> like, subscribe, share. We really, really, really love you guys and appreciate all your, all your support. Take your time. <laughs> I think this, you make, this is why I, I say, all makeup's gone off my t-shirt. This is why I don't talk, okay? No, you do great. Stutter. You do great. I it's I'm okay. You're doing amazingly well. Even though you, they're not like literally, they are there, but they're not they like are. right in front of me. It's I like, still get so it's like, it's like the, you remember the demon headmaster? Look into my eyes. On, on that note, guys. Do you remember that? No, I don't. Know. It must be, must be a British thing. I think it was. A bit. On that note, guys, look, you're doing great. I'm trying. You're doing amazing. Look, the fact is that you're out here, you know, doing a video. 80 degree heat in the middle of nowhere. It's 
our apartment complex. It's an apartment. <laughs> I, think I was just trying to make it more adventurous than it was. But guys, we love you. Uh, oh, and there's another video we need to do as well. People keep asking, do we experience racism in Texas? Yes. Do we? No, we don't. <laughs> well, you just told them the answer. Well. <laughs> well, well, listen, we'll let you know on the next video or the video after that. Yes. Because there's a lot you do need to know. So keep a lookout. Subscribe, like, high five. Mm -hmm. Do they have a high five on them? Okay. Bye. Bye.